Welcome back to On The Beat. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and today we are joined in the studio by Robert White from Robert's Apothecary. And today we're gonna to be discussing anti-inflammatories, something that we all probably have in our medicine cabinets at home, but Robert's gonna give us the inside scoop about maybe some natural options in addition to those ones that we're so familiar with already, right? Correct. Great, thanks for coming back. Glad to be here, I'm glad always, you're here. Always good to see you, always good to see you. Okay, so let's get to what we're gonna talk about today. Tell me generally about anti-inflammatories. Like what are they used for? Well, they're used for inflammatory conditions. Makes sense. Uh, like pain or headaches or arthritis, sprained ankle, tendonitis, any of those the in, any of the itises. Any of the itises. Are there different different types of anti-inflammatories? There are. Um, we obviously have prescription ones, mm -hmm. and we have over-the-counter ones like uh, naproxen or ibuprofen that right. many people take. Then we have some natural ones. Uh, the natural ones, many of those won't have the side effects. Uh, such as gastrointestinal, kidney, or mm -hmm. liver issues that can happen with the prescription or the over-the-counter ones. Now, okay, for educate me for a second. I have always heard, you know, you'll have someone will say, take a leave for this or take Tylenol for that because it is digested in different pathways. Is that correct? They they are metabolized, metabolized. Uh, okay. differently. Uh, Tylenol, mm -hmm. acetaminophen, mm -hmm. is not an anti-inflammatory. Oh. It is a pain reliever. It is a fever reducer. Okay. But it has no anti-inflammatory action. I gotcha. Well, what's the difference between Advil, Aleve, and the natural products? The natural products will provide that anti-inflammatory action like Aleve or Advil but some people can't tolerate it because of stomach side effects. I see, I see. Uh, and long-term usage of those drugs can lead to kidney impairment. I gotcha. Uh, at any rate, everybody's heard of turmeric. Right. Turmeric is a wonderful anti-inflammatory. Yes. Does not bother the kidney, the liver, mm -hmm. or, or the stomach, mm -hmm. the gut. And we have plain turmeric. Uh-huh. And then we found out if you add a little black pepper to the turmeric, it absorbs a lot better. So I have some capsules that have both. Really? And then there's one called Boswellia. You know no, what? I have not heard of that one. But you have heard of frankincense. I have. It is the same thing as frankincense. Really? Great pain reliever, great anti-inflammatory, does not have the side effects. Well, do they interact with the prescription drugs somebody might be on in a negative or a positive way? Normally, if someone's on a prescription drug for inflammation, I'm not going to add this to it. I see. They will be looking for an alternative because they may be having trouble taking the prescription drug. I see. I so, see. And then I have one that combines turmeric and uh, the frankincense and several other anti-inflammatories all in one, and I get really good results with it. And re unrelated to those type anti-inflammatories is fish oil. Right. The omega-3 fatty acids, EPA, DHA, uh, wonderful anti-inflammatory. Uh, the fish oil has countless other benefits as well, but it's a great Anti-inflammatory. Sounds like a powerhouse. Powerhouse. I love it. Yeah. Wow. Well, I have to come get some of that as well. Not if you're not hurting. Well, but you know, just to have on reserve, just in case. <laughs> if you'd like more information about the products that can help you feel better, anti-inflammatories, the natural kind, please call Robert and the team at Robert's Apothecary. All the information's up on the screen, and we'll be back after this short break.